Hi everyone, Bob Gower of BobCanHelp.com. Welcome to our series on definitions for cocktail party credibility. Um, so you know, this is just so you sound like you know what you're talking about when someone brings something up at a cocktail party. I think that's very important for your career. Uh, so today we're going to talk about test-driven development, TDD. You know, this is not my area of, of expertise at all. I am not a technologist. I, am a, I, I, I deal with the human side of things. And this is a tool that is used by technologists. It's used by um, the people actually writing the code in software organizations. And what we mean by test-driven development is that they're going to write a test before they write the code. So before they start developing a feature, they're going to write a test and say, um, and, and, and I don't... So software, when it's deployed, it needs to go through a series of testing so we know that it all works. Now, if you write an automated test, a test that can run automatically, um, then, that, then it's really, it makes deployment that much faster because you have to deploy the same code over and over and over again, right? As you fix things, you have to test that other stuff didn't break as you fix things. But if you write the test up front before you write the code, then you also know when you're finished when the code is finished. And that's the other thing is you write the code that will pass the test. So you write the automated test, then you write the code that will pass the test. So you've built um, automated testing into your code production. Now in some ways this can slow things down. It slows things down on the front end of things, but just like um, Toyota's uh, habit of stopping their production line when there was a defect found on the production line actually sped things up because you didn't have to deal with a defect later. This is the same true of automated testing. You don't have to deal with defects later. The simplest way to, um, to deal with bugs in your software, don't write bugs in the first place and, and test-driven development really helps with that. Again, my name is Bob Gower of BobCanHelp.com. Hope this has been a help to you. Uh, do follow me on Twitter at Bob Gower. Visit my uh, blog at BobCanHelp.com or simply write me an email at Bob at BobCanHelp.com and let me know how I can help you. Thanks so much.